Hey everyone, Crystal here. Um, I just got done making that last video and I just wanted to go ahead and jump into making another video. This one's a little bit more personal. Um, but first off, something I forgot to show off that I thought was really cute that I got that was kind of like crafty related is my husband got me this for Christmas. It says crafty girl and it's just a hoodie, but on the back it says, I am a crafty girl. I make things. Oops. Lots of things. I keep making things until my fingers fall off. Then I will grab my crochet hooks and stitch those suckers back on and make more things. And it's just too cute. Like, I saw that and I fell in love. And then he got it for me and I was like, yay. Um, but yes. Um, so that was the one thing I've forgotten to show you. Now this one's more um, like a personal thing because um, it's kind of one of my goals is to like lose weight and things. Um, just be overall a lot healthier. And last year I really did go through um, like a journey and I would say like a health journey. Um, and I say that because it just a lot of things open up and whatnot as to why I was having certain health problems and why I'm so overweight anymore. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like a very long year. Um, towards the beginning of the year, I found out that, um, I should probably go gluten free. Um, and we tried that and that really did help my energy levels and <coughs> sorry, still being sick. And, um, they found out that I might possibly have celiac disease. And, um, with that, basically you cannot eat gluten because when you do, it causes your body to have an autoimmune um, response where your body starts attacking the your intestines, which causes pain and discomfort and just fatigue and all sorts of other different things. Because apparently, um, I think there's 200 symptoms of celiac disease, but it varies person to person. Um, you can have different, you know, couple symptoms. You can have multiple symptoms. It doesn't seem like anybody's the same. I mean, even simple things like having a headache. Um, just, you know, different, different little things like that. Um, so last year, um, with that, and then we found out that, uh, like, my thyroid is low, but it's within normal range, so they're not giving me anything for it. And there's really not much we can do about it, I guess, until it passes, like, the point that it's at and goes even lower, which I hope doesn't happen. Um... But that's something that's happened. Plus, you know, I've had three children. And my oldest will be six in March. And then my youngest will be turning two in February. So I know I had them pretty close together. Um, but that was the plan. <laughs> We'd have our kids when we were really young. Um, and, like, in April, I'll be turning 20, 29. Um, so that's what I wanted when I was young. <laughs> Able to have the energy and handle it all and whatnot. So, um, <clears throat> another thing, um, my husband got for my wedding anniversary, which was in September, is he got me a Fitbit, and I really, really like my Fitbit. Um, it's my watch, and then it's nice that you can connect it to your phone, um, and you can put things in there, like you can track your water, um, it tracks your steps every day, um, then I got the heart rate one, too, because that's something else is, like, right now, I'm sitting here, and it says my heart rate's at 100. And 16. Oh, it changed already. But my heart rate's at 116 right now. I know I'm a little bit excited because I'm doing a video. I'm not nervous or anything. I'm just having fun making a video. So I'm a little bit excited. But it shouldn't be at 116. So that was one thing that I was really trying to work on too. Um, I don't have high blood pressure. But I do have... Um, I was not too high, but high cholesterol. And so, basically, like, I just was trying to eat a lot healthier. Like, you know, you think you're doing pretty good, you know, and then you go to the doctor and he tells you, oh, okay, well, maybe you should be a little bit healthier than what you're doing. So, um, another thing that happened was um, I've been having a lot of back pain, and I've been having a lot of back pain for a long time. Um, when I was 17 years old, I was in a really, really bad car accident where I ended up um, actually being thrown from my vehicle. Um, I was wearing my seatbelt, but the seat broke, like the back of the seat, so I flew out. And um, I sustained quite a few injuries from that. 
<clears throat> and one thing is his long lifetime wonderful back pain. Um, and um, we ended up doing an MRI and a CAT scan, x-rays, all that wonderful stuff. Um, just to find out that I don't have any injuries. I don't have any pinched nerves or wait, not, I would probably have pinched nerves, but not, um, we call it a slip disc. Um, it's just like, I guess the way I'm designed in my low back, kind of like, kind of like, you know, like the tailbone area and the back, um, very low back, you know, like we usually have like a space like this, let's just say a space like this. Well, mine's just designed like this, where I had kind of curved, like there's not much room in the back area, but there's more in the front. And I guess that just causes a little bit more pressure and not as much fun, but the, nothing's damaged from what they found. Um, they put me in physical therapy for several months, which really helped. But um, for those of you who have ever been through that, um, your medical bills go through the roof, even with insurance. Um, so I ended up stopping doing physical therapy, and I'm just trying to work out and do those exercises at home because that's pretty much what you need to do is just keep going with those um, exercises. <laughs> Sorry, my husband is um, playing video games. I'm in the bedroom, like sitting on our bed, hoping because um, he's playing destiny with his friends so hopefully you don't hear him yelling he's not cursing or anything he's just yelling at the guys apparently they're doing something wrong <laughs> um but yeah a lot of back pain and like even now I'm having some back pain but I know that I'm overweight um and I was gonna show you this um hopefully it'll come up and I know like I didn't really take very many pictures of myself back then because like this is talking like the time frame when I met my husband so I was 21 years old, and um, so this is only eight years ago, and well, about about seven and a half ish. And I didn't take very many pictures of stuff. The pictures I have are just kind of whatever. Um, but as you can, if you can see it, um, my face was a lot thinner, and um, that's kind of like. I mean, I'd like to go back to being thinner. I know my body will never be the same. You know, especially after having <laughs> three kids. Um, but here's something that I made, like, after my son was born. Um, this is what I used to look like. And like I said, I didn't really take very many pictures. Like, this is actually after I met my husband, and we were going to a fraternity dance. And I was trying on dresses and, like, asking people, hey, what do you think? And I just happened to have that one in my phone, and, like, I didn't have very many pictures of myself at all. So that kind of shows... I used to be thinner, <laughs> and then this is what I looked like, um, like, like a week after I had my, my son, and then this is, like, I worked really hard, and I lost a lot of weight, but now I, like, I feel like I'm back here, and it's just been a huge struggle, just a huge struggle, and, and as you know, it's really, really depressing, and that's something else I found out last year is apparently I have depression. <clears throat> and, like, it makes sense now when you look back and you go, well, that would kind of make sense with, you know, certain situations and how I felt. And, you know, like, with my life, I've been kind of isolated from a lot of my friends and family because we've had to move. Like, right now, I live three hours away from family. I get a call, I'm on the phone and whatnot, and I'm a stay-at-home mom, and we have one car, so that really limits a lot of things. And then, plus, um, I don't like to get into my past very much because, you know, um, it wasn't a very great childhood um, in the beginning. And so I have a lot of um, depression from that as well. Um, and even some um, slight post-traumatic stress disorder from that. Um, nothing major, but just a little bit. And then also from a car accident that we had um when I was pregnant with Rachel. Um, I was four months pregnant with Rachel, and we got T-boned, hit on my side, and it freaked me out so bad. And I think it was just mostly because I was pregnant, and I was really hormonal, and, like, mother instincts and protective instincts and all that stuff came together, and I completely, like, snapped. 
and I was screaming. And even now, like when we get in the car, and it's been a couple of years now, Rachel is three now, so it's been almost four years. And I was absolutely terrified, even just like the other day. There's a car on the side road, and this is what happened. The guy was stopped at a stop sign, and we were driving down the road, and he just came out and hit us. He said he didn't see us. Um, but I guess his dog climbed into his lap or something, so he wasn't paying attention. Well, um, there was a guy at the side road, and he started coming out, and I'm seriously panicking, starting to hyperventilate and everything. It's pretty bad. <clears throat> so that was kind of something. But now... Um, I guess I'm taking medication for that, so, like, my mood's different, which is nice, because, um, and I'm also sharing this because I know some people in here, um, you know, a lot of people don't, I think depression is a negative thing, a bad thing, and you don't want to talk about it and other things like that, but, like, you want people to know that they're not alone. I mean, I know I'm not alone. I know there's lots of people that have depression, and it could be something that I could only have, I could have depression just for now. You know, and then later on in life, I'm just fine. But right now I have it and it's something that's, you know, a day to day, -to -day thing. Um, I feel like I'm I mean with the medication that I'm taking. I feel just fine. Everything seems OK. Um, it didn't seem like things were too bad before, but simple things like I used to sing all the time. Um, that was one thing I always enjoyed doing. Like even when I'm sitting there doing the dishes or vacuuming, I'd sing, you know, and I realized that I hadn't done that in quite a long time. And once I start taking this medication, um, probably a couple weeks in, I'm starting to sing again where I'm doing the dishes. And I was just like, wow, I really miss doing this. You know, you know, I made the dishes not so bad, right? Um, so that was something. Um, so, you know, but that was just kind of like part of my health journey last year. Um, it was kind of a very eye-opening thing because... Yeah, <laughs> you know, quite a bit um, affecting me there. Um, I tried to lose a bit of weight, but I ended up not really losing weight at all. Um, but some of the things that I'm doing now, um, and it didn't just start here on the beginning of the year. Like today is the fifth, um, so it's only been five days a year. But um, I've had this Fitbit. I think maybe he got it for me in May. Maybe he did get it for me for my birthday. Like a late birthday. I can't remember. It's so bad. But he spoils me so bad, too. Like, he'll buy me something for my birthday, like, two months in advance. And then, like, he'll still feel like he needs to get me a birthday present anyway. Um, but he's, like, always buying me stuff. Especially, like, if you saw the last video. That was, like, over the course of a couple months. He just spoils me rotten. Um, so, yeah. He got me this Fitbit. And I've been using it for a long time. So I know it's been quite a while that I've had it. Um, and another thing I like about it is the fact that it tracks my sleep. Apparently, I don't get much sleep. I mean, every now and again, I get some, you know, decent sleep. Um, I don't know if this thing's going to survive or not. But, um, like, my husband will let me sleep in every once in a while if he's home and um, the kids... The kids are up, and he's up, but, like, okay, if you can see, and this is one thing I like about the Fitbit, um, like, there's my sleep, five hours and 38 minutes last night, seven hours and 45 minutes, because I put my kids in bed with me when they got up at, it'll tell you on here, it's probably about six o'clock in the morning, my son got up, and we were sick then. So I really needed that I almost eight hours of sleep that day. Um, and then four hours and 14 minutes. I mean, and then it'll tell you what the average is. Um, like the average for this week so far is only five hours and 52 minutes. And like, this was really eye opening for me. Like, it really was because it showed me that I really wasn't getting much sleep like I thought I wasn't. But, like, my son is, um, he'll be two in February, and he still gets up at night. And we're starting to think that it might be acid indigestion because his sister has it. So he'll get up, and, like, we just thought it was just, like, he just had a really bad case of colic, and he just hasn't stopped yet. But I talked to the doctor about it, and I guess at this point they don't seem like they're too worried about it because he doesn't seem to be, um, 
showing any problems. Um, but All right, sorry, it seems like it kind of stopped there in the middle. But I think I'm going to have to push it a little bit because um, Jennifer, she had acid reflux. And she was about five years old when they she finally got diagnosed. We went through the barium swallows and things like that. And they said that she was fine. Um, but yeah, so she takes a little bit of medication in the morning now. And I think it's like a Zantac or something. Um, it's like the, uh, the generic version of it and she does really well with that and doesn't seem to have any problems anymore which is really good um but so basically i guess right now my goals are is to lose weight um because i'd like to get to the point where i was um i'm not i guess i don't want a huge weight loss goal but my goal is 30 pounds and right now i don't exactly have a certain date set maybe because I want it to be healthy weight loss I don't want it to be drastic because like I said um I have some health issues and then I really don't want to be pushing it because I don't want to do stuff and then all of a sudden I lose a bunch of weight and then I gain it all back and then more so I actually want to lose this weight keep it off for good um so I've been using my Fitbit and I need to make sure that I'm doing my steps like today it says I've only done 8,000 826 steps and I want to have my goal of about 15 um, 15,000 steps a day and then um, I'm going to be trying to log my food and I'm going to be logging my food on my fitness pal and then I'm going to be logging my water and I'm going to do they recommend that you do half an ounce to an ounce um, depending on your weight like they say, if you're doing a ton of exercise or you're in a hot climate, lean more towards the um, higher end. So for me, I'm just going to go with the half ounce and try to make sure I get that in. And I'm going to log that with um, the Fitbit because the Fitbit makes it really easy. Like they'll have an option where you just click on this water bottle and it's like a regular water bottle, like the 16 ounces. I don't think I have a one right here, but it's like 16.9 ounces. You just click on that and there you have your water log. Now on the, um, okay, this, sorry, my, my devices are going to die here soon. Um, let's see, I know I just saw it. My kids rearranged everything on me and drives me nuts. Okay. I let them use my phone to play games every once in a while. But okay, so here's the MyFitnessPal. And I see Stacey on there because we've been chatting. Um, there's this little plus thing. You just click that and look how awesome that is. You can log like a status, your water, your food, exercise, and your weight. I think that is so cool. So easy. Like, you can just click on your water. Oh, here, I bumped it. Click on your water. And then you just add in, like, whatever, like, one or two cups. And they push set, and you're done. That is so quick, easy. I can do that. So, um, that's what I'm doing on there, and that's how I'm logging my food. And you can even scan your barcodes, and then it'll remember you. Like, in the morning, I usually have a K-cup. And then I have about a half a cup of milk. And then if I want it sweet, I'll usually put a little bit of Splenda in it. And so that that is already in there. Like it knows like that usually for breakfast, this is my frequent thing. So I just click on that. And then even when I click on the coffee, it'll say frequently used with. And I just click those two things really quick. And then my breakfast is logged. And I know some people, that's kind of a factor is the convenience and quickness. Oh, but, um. So that's kind of my thing is just making sure I'm monitoring everything and working out. Um, been trying to do some yoga. I also bought through um, Beachbody like the 21 day challenge. And so my plan is to work on that and to do as much as my body will allow me at that time. Um, so maybe um, it's like a 15 minute thing and I can only do five. I'm going to do it. Maybe the next time I can do five minutes and 20 seconds, something like that. So I'm going to keep pushing myself to achieve. And then I'm hoping to um, get back into the, the gym. We had to stop it last year because like with all these medical bills, we couldn't afford the gym too. Because it was ridiculous. We have Blue Cross Blue Shield and like the MRI and things, those costed several thousand dollars. <laughs> so that was quite a bit. Um, and then physical therapy, um, insurance apparently only covers 
so many visits, but only to 80%. So we were still paying like $3,000. And that was only for a couple months. So I was like, there's no way I can do this anymore. Um, but yes, I'm trying, I keep losing my train of thought here. I'm like going a million miles an hour here. But yes, trying to exercise, monitor my water and my food, um, trying to get sleep. Um, we've got the kids down to a pretty good schedule. Um, right now we've made them go to bed an hour early because we need them to get up about an hour early. We were getting them up at seven and we need them to get up at six. So now they're going to bed at seven and getting up about well, I'm going to make it about 6.30. I'm going to get up at 6, give myself a half hour to get dressed and maybe a cup of coffee, and then wake everybody else up and get them all dressed and stuff because my husband usually has to be to work at <clears throat> at 7. So I'll – and we only have one car, and with it being winter and things, um, it's nice to get the car. And then just even like the other day, I had to take the kids to the doctor – we've been so sick for a while and it's just like it's turned into sinus infections now my poor kids um i seem like i'm doing okay though i mean um so yeah but i do have a facebook page where i'm going to be trying very hard to log progress um i'll be posting pictures um I don't know. It depends on how much interest I have and how much support I feel. I might post a little bit more, but um, I'm going to be doing measurements. And my husband's so sweet to help me with this. You know, like the arm measurements, bust, waist, hips, um, legs, and that. I'm gonna do all those measurements and I'm gonna do weights. And I'm probably going to check those biweekly because I don't want to check them too often. And then I might. I, I know that I'm going to check my weight probably once a week, like every Sunday or something. And if I have a lot of support on this, I might start um, doing my videos with it. Um, like maybe like a Sunday check-in um, or a Sunday weigh-in or something like that. And just start working on my progress because, you know, a lot has happened over this last several years. And I've had three children and my body just seems to um, have changed a lot. And I've gained a lot of weight. And I'd like to go back um, to, you know, close to where I used to be. I know that my hips will never be the same. Um, so I'm not expecting that. But I would like to lose a bit of weight. But right now it's I'm just looking at 30 pounds. And then once I'm there, you know, we'll go from there. Well, um, yeah, um, I'll probably put some links down below. Um, you guys can find me on, um, like Fitbit. I know that if you go through there, you can type in people's names. And if any of you guys have me on Facebook, you can add me through there. And, um, my fitness pal. And then the emails for those, um, any, it's the same email as down below. But it's um, Christella Massey at yahoo.com, and that's C R Y S T A L L A M A S S E Y at yahoo.com. And you guys can find me on there. And, um, and that's another thing that I think is nice because if you have the friends to do these things with, like Stacy's been, um, she just got her Fitbit today, actually. And she's been really trying, and I guess she's going to get ready to do a challenge. So look forward to her little video for that. Um, but she's going to be friends on the Fitbit, and she's friends with me on the uh, My Fitness Pal too. And it's fun because you can challenge each other, and then your friends can hold you accountable, you know, or even stuff, little stuff like, um, did you drink your water today? Um, I didn't see that you logged any food. And then you sit there and go, oh, I forgot to log it. Or, like, you were trying to hide it, you know, because maybe you went to McDonald's or something. Um, but that's something, you know, that happens. Um, but you can have some accountability and friends and support. And that's something that we all need, when, especially when it comes to this kind of stuff. Weight loss and something so personal. But I'll probably leave it at that. I know this is, like, a long video, but it's really personal and, like, I'm just basically, I'm on another health journey this year. 
trying to become healthier, eat healthier. Um, I'm trying to be gluten free, but it's just really expensive. Um, I know that there's ways to avoid like buying gluten free foods, but um, a lot of things that we eat, just like simple soup and um, just different things, because we have a budget for food and it was kind of hard. <laughs> we did it for six months. And it was like breaking the bank. Um, yeah, especially with the medical bills, we just had to stop. Um, so I'm going to be trying to do things. And then I might do more foodie videos because some of the stuff's kind of fun. And the kids enjoy trying new things. So I might do videos of us trying new healthier foods. So it might be fun. Um, but yeah, this sorry, this was kind of jumbly and me just kind of free talking about my goals. But yeah, basically trying to be a lot healthier and trying to do it healthy and right. Um, I know there's a lot of other things out there, um, the weight loss supplements and whatnot, but I'm going to be really trying to just work out, eat right, drink plenty of water. So, yeah. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to go back to the doctor and talk to him about certain things. Um, but thanks for watching guys. And as always, thank you for your support. Cause I know that there's several of you guys that look forward to my videos and like, I even have you guys on Facebook and things. Um, but thanks for watching. Bye.